one day one it gets back. filled, that's all. How can you use it again? Oh, yeah. Sorry? It keeps taking how water do you know? how, do you know? how do you know there's no release of water? But water is rising from here. How do you know there's no water uh, uh, water going? I, tell you, I think water can go in. I think water can go in. Can I get it? If water can go in, all the water should go in. I think water goes in and I don't know. What does it mean? If there's a the water in that tub won't decrease. Sorry? That water in that thing won't decrease. No, it decreases. There you go. Sir, let us know. Okay, don't decrease, like don't get it. I think the water goes into the tube and as well. How should you count them? It won't count. As soon as it touches the water, the water level is going down. I mean, there's a small opening. I think I say that I, my claim is that there's a small opening. What, what is the water rise? Why should it go? Why should it go? Why is the water rise? I want the best counter. Why is the water rise? The best counter. It can't go on the top. Inside also there is pressure. Yes, ma'am. There will be pressure due to the liquid. This whole means is to come out. Yeah, yeah, pressure. Yeah, pressure. Yeah, pressure. So water rise doesn't seem to be increasing. What is the liquid? Seems to be increasing. That's all right. Fundamental work, we have to step back to the water. How can you get two steps? Sir, when it's on there, the water is not sucking the water. How do you know? I think it does. I think there's a small opening through which water can go. It can't go, it's not forced. There must be a force which does. Why should it go? Why should it go? Maybe the hole is somewhere at the top. Abhay will absorb the water, Abhay will see through the holes. Sir, if it does take in, then why does the level decrease as soon as it goes up? That is, if it does take in some water, it should increase. No, fundamental is not getting. Super simple one gets only longer. Mass. If water can go in, it is simple. If water can come out, it can come out. But there is a hole permanently, you know. Now, I had it for many, many years. One year, one year, I had it for many, many years. How is the liquid still? Now, it is older for liquid. Even if it is water, if it is water, any liquid for that matter, any liquid should evaporate. Right? Any liquid should evaporate. So you know, if there is inlet, there must be an outlet. La. There's a way to come out. So all the liquid will come off. Nothing will come out. And I, maybe you can say maybe I filled water and came up. Please, 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 next. But I didn't do anything. It's completely sealed. It's a completely sealed uh, uh, capsule. Sir. Not even a drop of water can go in. Nothing can come out. And then fully sealed water. It's not, actually, it's not a drinking bird. It's a drinking bird. It's a misnomer. Right? Then why did you wet that thing? Sir? Yeah. Allah, Allah. Is that a sponge or something? Velvet now. Velvet now. The first action is this. It's a capillary action. Velvet cloth is like a sponge. It's a capillary action. I'm going to teach capillarity next. So capillarity is there in this topic. Right? What is there in the topic? Hydrostatic. Hydrostatic. Hydrostatic is not correct. Now this is first of all mechanics. What is the topic? Mechanics. Oscillation. Rotation. Rotation. What is the topic in mechanics? Huh? Center of mass. See, there's a torque. Yeah. Now, that side mass is heavier, this side mass is lesser. Right? As the mass increases this side, as the liquid rises, mass increases this side. Yeah. So, there is a point when the center of mass, center of mass, as the liquid, the center of mass gradually rises, goes above the axis. Therefore, if you have, now, mg under pull, yeah. mg will go that side. Yeah, the, the center of mass will go that side. The torque due to gravity will topple it. But for, once it topples, some of the liquid gets drained out once again, comes, the liquid comes this side. So this side torque becomes increased, it comes back again. So the mass somehow keeps this shape, shifting this side <coughs> and that side automatically. Thereby, uh, uh, alter the center of mass of the system. The center of mass of the system gets altered. Right? Therefore, the point at which mg force gets uh, acts altered. Therefore, a clockwise torque for some time becomes, sometime becomes an anti-clockwise torque. So, one, 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 this is all, uh, uh, the concept of torque, center of mass can be discussed, torque can be discussed. Right? Initially you wetted that spawn, sir. Ah. The water, liquid came up. Yeah. Now again when it's getting when it's going down. Uh, I'll tell you, I'll tell you more about this. Listen, I want you to handle very careful. I don't please be careful about this. I don't want to break it, but uh, for my other batch I have to take it. The tube will kill, yeah. It is the tube. Uh, see, the tube is considered in such a way that the, this tube and this capsule are Connected through here. This is a small gap, right? See, yeah. 
sir. Yeah. Now see this. I'm going to hold it. See what happens. I can push it down. Meaning here that if we tell you what happens now, first of all, you know, just see here there are some gases locked in, yeah. And I keep it like this, you know, because I the warmth of my hand, the air in that space gets heated up. So the pressure will increase. So that will push the liquid down. The only one way this one liquid has done is going up. So the liquid rises because of pressure difference. Right? But I, I didn't hold it here. Still it was rising. Either you increase the pressure here or, or lower the pressure, pressure there. How does the pressure decrease there? I don't understand. Tell me. So now tell me how does the pressure decrease there? How does the pressure decrease? I wetted the peak, right? Yeah. How does the pressure what are the evaporation produces? Cooling. We are getting into thermodynamics. We are getting into thermodynamics. Heat and thermodynamics. We are entering into heat and thermodynamics. You know, evaporation produces cooling, right? So above there, what happens is uh, the liquid cools. Or I'm sorry, the water evaporates, cooling the top portion of the of the bird's head. Since it cools, the pressure pressure reduces. Since pressure reduces, it sucks the liquid. Our air rise. Uh, so since it sucks the liquid rises here, the center mass shift and it goes again wets. Now we have white wets constantly. Because the liquid has to keep on evaporating constantly. See, as long as the beak is wet, it will work. You don't need a cup of water. And that's not just to wet the beak, that's all. Okay, keep periodically, if you keep wetting the beak, it will work. So it's not like drinking. This is kept such a way that it, uh, uh, as, it gets, as it gets dried up, it will again fall, get itself uh, wetted and then it will oscillate. Right? Now, <coughs> coming back to the topic of uh, this, uh, energy conservation, not clear, it's not violation. <coughs> you know what you're doing now? What is the topic in physics? I was teaching something last week. What is the topic I was teaching last week? Yes. You know, what is the topic I was teaching, particularly in thermodynamics? Or not? Or globally, what is the topic? Heat engine. Heat engine. What does the heat engine do? So much uh, heat energy mechanical, right? Where is the heat getting? 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 Surrounding. Heat energy is not mechanical. It's the heat engine. This is the heat engine. The drinking bird is the heat engine. Converting heat energy. 